Well, students have been arriving here all morning and things remain calm. There is an encampment that's behind the gates that you see here behind me. But last night, protests stretched to the campus of New York University, where police had to respond to help disperse protesters and make arrests. As pro-Palestinian protesters camp out on the Columbia University campus for a seventh day. This is not a welcoming environment. I think it's a very difficult time for a lot of Jewish students. This is an actual crisis and an imminent threat. Tensions are boiling over. Go back to Poland. Who says that? Go back to Poland. And rippling to other universities across the country, including MIT, NYU, Yale, and Cal Poly. <laughs> A rabbi linked to Columbia University urged Jewish students to stay home, saying recent events at the university have, quote, made it clear that Columbia University's public safety and the NYPD cannot guarantee Jewish students' safety. Late Monday night, the university announcing in-person classes are canceled until the end of the semester. At least one protester says it's not just the Jewish students who are being harassed. I'm Jewish, but there has not been a lot of focus on, you know, Palestinian students who have been, you know, feeling anti-Islamic sentiment. President Joe Biden condemning all hate on both sides. I condemn the anti-Semitic protest. I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians. Now, the Columbia Spectator, which is the student-run newspaper, is reporting this morning that members of the America Association of University Professors are expect expected to introduce a resolution to censure the president of Columbia University, along with other university officials, due to their response to the protest. Reporting in Manhattan, I'm Gloria Pasquino. Back to you.